I have integrity, and I, I, don't, I, 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 I like to avoid confrontation, but I'm not scared of confrontation. That makes sense. I like to avoid it, but I'm not scared of it. You're not going to come to my platform and punk me and be the star of my show. I'm not going to let it happen. You know, because when you because when you create content, this computer basically becomes your virtual home. Do you let people come respect that you gonna let people come throw eggs on it anytime they want to? Then you're gonna have an egg house after a while. Hey, go ahead and throw eggs at Samaj's house. He don't do nothing. Just keep you know, so you guys have the standard. If you allow one person, everyone else will continue that. Exactly. It'll be a chain of, of events. You know, because some, because because some, some people have really disrespectful chats. I've been the big content creators, and the in the, the whole chat just comes there to talk about the person. I'm not having that. You guys gonna listen to what I got to say, or you can bounce. You know, because your content's not gonna be for everyone, but you want the people to watch your stuff to appreciate it. You know, and I'm telling you, and and, and you can mark my words on this. I told you this before. And I don't know if you didn't believe me, but I said, man, what you did for me, you know, we're, we're long, lifelong friends. And you can test, test, and test, and do that. So, like, when you get big, me and you can have a show together. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, some people you meet and cross paths with, you know, and some people you meet and you grow with. And I feel like, well, actually, we've grown together already. You know? I wasn't just PC later and that's it. Like, we're still talking between, you know what I mean? Business or non-business. I don't be like, hey, what, what, I don't do, you know? So, the bigger we grow, we grow together. You know what I'm saying? It may be time for you to write another book. You know? Like when you, you inspired me to do my podcast. See? And, and that, and, 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 and like I said, that just, ha- that's what I'm saying. That's how life goes, brother, because it just happened. See, people search, search, search. The energy you put out, it will come back to you. You will find the people. If it's love, like if, I, if, like if, I'm, if I'm looking for love, if I'm looking for love or looking for a relationship and I'm dating, I'm going to ignore all the red flags because I just want that position. If I if I want to be a, have a job as a I don't know astronaut if that's what I'm fixated on there may be red flags that tell me that's something you may not want to do but I'm just gonna do it anyway because that's what I want to do like you know when you when you when you stop searching for things just like my dog like my dog's a star on the internet <laughs> everybody knows who my dog is by name my bad people send him clothes but <clears throat> he was put in my life. Now, I was always familiar with this dog. My dog, come here, Lynx. Come here. Come here. Come here. Now you don't want to come because I want him. If I didn't want him, he'd be right here under me. Now that I want him, he's just going to take his mighty time. But no, uh, my sister, he, he was my sister's dog for years. So I, so I didn't have him since he was a baby, but I knew him since he was a baby. You know what I mean? So I, he wasn't like a straggler dog I just came up on. I, I, I'm familiar with my dog, but it was my sister's dog first. So he was in the family. And then and then, um, and then she gave him to me. So I was already familiar with him. He just didn't live with me. But, I, you know, I would go to her house every weekend and interact with him. But it's funny, bro, is because even though I knew this dog, this is power right here. I knew this dog for three years before I brought him home. When I brought him home, he's a whole different dog. He's not the same dog that when I used to see him every single weekend, play with him for hours. When he lived here, he's a totally different. His, his energy is different. The way he plays is different. Everything. And that just shows you the power of energy and the power of presence. You know, my energy and my presence made him a whole different animal. He don't act the same. And like I say, it wasn't like I, I, this dog was around for three years before I took him home. And he's a totally different dog now. You know, and that's because I rubbed off on him. You know, so guess what, Smosh? When you're in your
your journey of life, if you're around successful people, guess what they're going to do? Rub off on you. Rub off on you. Don't feel entitled to try to bring your friends on this journey, brother. I'm telling you this right now. I know in the perfect world it would seem like, oh, like me, my friend. Say I got a friend named John and I got a friend named Bob. And we went to first grade together. And, oh, yeah, me, John, and Bob, we're going to be friends for life. And then we're going to be all rich and successful and live in this big old mansion and just be. That sounds good, but it don't happen that way. Look, there's some bitterness. There's some bitterness to up there. You have to be around. And it's good for you. See, I, I, I like like I say, and I'll and I tell you again, I know sometimes people. Because people have told me this. People, sometimes people may want to hit me up for advice or something, and they would be like, oh, I didn't want to call you because I think you're busy or something. I am busy, but I'll make you a priority. So anytime you need to reach out to me. You know, we've got the time thing, but there is never going to be a time, Samaj, that you reach out to me and I'm not going to reply. I promise you guys. It don't matter if I'm busy or not. You know what I'm saying? I can have a girl on my lap, and I'll be like, all right, when I finish with this, <laughs> you know, so real talk. So yeah, because you you cannot. And, and and I will say this: you will one one key gem for you too is I don't I wouldn't necessarily say try to motivate with your friends, but try to find you. Someone else who's kind of into it too. That way you can exchange ideas with. Because, like me, if I got a friend who uh, is a boxer, right, and I might be like, "Hey, I got this cool idea for a video. Listen to this." He'll be, "What is he gonna say?" Oh, that's what's up. Good. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, I want somebody to care about what I'm trying to say, and they only care about it if they're invested in it too. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, just like you could hit me up and you could be like, man, I want to I wanna do a video about this, uh, IP, but what's the angle I should do? And I'll tell you, oh, okay, well, this is how you should do it. First, you should have it like this, five minutes intro, and boom, seven minutes introduction, boom, then talk about the family, boom, then talk about the success, boom, bring it around ten minutes to the end. I could do that for you. It, see, like that, like I just how I just did that, I just mapped out a whole show in my head by time frame. I'm an intelligent guy. <laughs> really though, but you got you know, so it's just good. Like shout out to my brother Lawrence D. Adams, like and RPC, like we we do the same thing, and I can talk to those guys, and then and then even vent to them because when you start creating content, it can be overwhelming, and it, and I don't know I don't know if you plan on doing it, but because it's because it because it may happen for you. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna manifest this to you. This is what's going to happen with you. Because I know how it happened for me. And, I, and I'm a good judge of character. So you may not even plan on being the coach, but I'm telling you, you're going to be one. I know, how do I know this? I know this because you got a good spirit. And once your following grows, I'm telling you, once your following grows, people will start reaching. You, you may not even have no intent on this. I'm going to tell you how it's going to happen for you because I feel your spirit. Once your once your following grows, people are gonna start reaching out to you for advice and help. And once you help this person, you may not get it. You help this second person, you not then the third person you're gonna be like, people really value my opinion, and you're gonna like the feedback that they give you from the advice that you gave them, and you're gonna be coaching guys too. Promise you. This time, this time next year, let's just let's just guess and they say it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving right around the corner. So, you know, thanks Thanksgiving, 2021, you're going to be a bigger podcaster and you're going to be coaching too. Well, I just had some of the thoughts of this, but I didn't know how to do and what to do. But now, when you when you are telling me this, I really feel that I I will be doing this. It's that spirit and that energy, and then, and then, and then, once you feed off of that, you want more of it. You want more of it, you know. Even like, it like.
like it, like even for me, it's hard to date, and I can date easy because you know I have I have good awareness. I'm a handsome guy, and I have game. You know what I mean? Yeah. But a woman doesn't respect the hustle and grind of it. They see you having a good time doing something, and they think that it's easy because they see you enjoy doing it. Just because I enjoy it doesn't mean it's easy, you know? There, there's times where I'm on the phone for this content creator wants to collaborate. Boom. He may call me. Say he called me right now, and I'm doing this right now. So, boom. So, we're doing this. So, say me and you are on this for another hour. Boom. So, then after that, I got to call him back. So, then I got to talk to him for an hour. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Then we talk for an hour, but then we actually got to make the video. So, that's going to be another two hours. Two, so we five hours in the day right now. Then, then guess what? Somebody, oh, I'll be, I'm going to book the consultation for some text game. Oh, well, damn, that's another hour right there. So you, that's how your days go. So it's not like having a job where, you know, a woman, she meets you. Oh, okay, nine to five, you're off. Okay, what we doing? you off. Don't work like that. Like, just tip the other day. Um, I was supposed to go to this, uh, and, you know, shout out to you, babe. You're probably mad because you're going to listen to this later. You're going to be mad about it. I'm talking about your ass, too. So, yeah, so we were supposed to go to, uh, Boomers, which was which is a uh, which is a uh, uh, place where they have go karts and um, miniature golf and stuff, right? So we were supposed to go there and spend the day there. And then I can I canceled. Why? Because I, I told her I got consultation. I got consultation. Well, you can't make you can't you can't do it later. No, you scheduled it for this time because because it's like okay, I can spend time with you and and make no money and spend money. Well, right, because 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 I'm gonna pay for it, so I'm gonna you know, so I gotta take time out, go here and pay for it, and lose money. I'm gonna take the two hundred fifty dollars for the one hour. So she's looking at it like, oh, you put this money before me, whatever. Like, I, I can I can talk on the phone, you know. You're gonna be mad anyway. If I, even if we even look, so I can not make the two hundred fifty dollars, and then we can go to this place, and then I'm spending money to get there, and then we get into a fight. You see, so I didn't spend money, lost money, killed my vibe, and didn't get this money. You see, <laughs> you know, this people don't see. And I, and I know I know you listening too I can, I can tell you just learning from listening this is going to be a video or a podcast that you're going to reference again I promise you even though you're doing it yeah, you're going to listen to this one again a lot of... this is just like a e-learning course for me right now I never expected yeah, yeah. this podcast to go this beautiful like I'm learning so many things yeah man but you know it, it's all about you right now I'm, I'm here to give and, it's, and, I, and I live a lot of life and even me, like I was gonna, I was gonna go back to school and be a principal. And now it's weird because it's not the, it's not only the fact that I don't want to do that. I laugh at the thought of me going to do that. It's a whole different thing. So it's not like, oh, I changed my mind. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm laughing like I wanted to do that. Hell no. I want, I want to be at home. Make friends online, talk to talk to cool people, and make money. That's what I want to do. From home, you know what I'm saying? You, you know that that's a job. It's it, it's a six figure job, but I know people online they make six figures in one week. You know, doing this type of stuff. But it takes time though, because you, you're not gonna come in making that. You're not gonna come in and thinking because I'm a hot shot guy. Give me six months, I'm going to be on. No, it takes time. All these guys, Seth Rogen and all these people, it took them years to get where they're at. You know, Tyler Perry, we didn't see when they were wrong. We didn't see the, the, the times where they wanted to quit. We just see the success and we envy that. You know? People people come to my YouTube and say, oh, that's your big deal. You got 20,000 subscribers. Well, I remember when I had seven subscribers. I remember. <laughs> You know, 
I remember putting out videos and they would get three views. I can stop or I can keep going. If I were to stop, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I wouldn't be doing all this. I wouldn't be doing these things. And I'm not done yet. I got plenty more life to live and plenty more things to do. Real talk, bro. What did you want to do, bro? What do you want to do? No, I, I hear you. Um, I'm chasing the moment. I'm chasing the moment when I wake up in the morning and I say I'm gonna cancel my job. When I can, when I can be like, when I can hit them up and be like, school district, yeah, how do I pull out my retirement? Cause I don't need this job. No more. Chasing the moment where I'm living abroad in Bali or Dubai. And I talked about it to my camera years ago. And now I'm in the place. Living abundantly. You know. Uh, the, the lifestyle that I know I can live. You know, I don't have any children, so there's nothing really tying me down. Um. The moment where I, where I, I say, Mama, I told you I was going to buy you a house. And I do that for him. I'm living for those moments. That's what, that's what keeps me motivated. That's what keeps me motivated. Because, I, because it's not even the moment, it's the feeling I know I'm going to get when I do that. Because there's a feeling of, of, of completion and admiration to yourself when you complete any goals. If you if you if you if you been not washing if you supposed to wash clothes on Monday and here it is Wednesday and you haven't washed clothes and you finally wash your clothes even that's something you were supposed to do you still feel accomplished after you did it you know so you feel accomplished off everything that you do you know? so the key is to keep doing shit. That's how you feel for feeling. That's what I think. Brother, can you, you, think? you can just you, take it all in? No, I can't uh, take all in. Like, uh, I'm trying to, like, you give so much knowledge in very short time. <laughs> like, I, I will watch this video again to understand everything again and again. Yeah. Yeah, even that, like, personally, I feel I've made content just as good as content that I watch. Like, we're doing this podcast now. Now, you may look at it as just a conversation or another episode, but understand that somebody is going to listen to this. And it's going to change their life, bro. The same way, like, what I do. I, I, I watched a podcast last night with two rappers. It was, I don't know if you know them, but it's by a, a rapper named T.I. And the other rapper about uh, Buster Rhymes and T.I. They did a podcast. They were just having a, a conversation about longevity. And I was able to get a lot of information from that, you know. But it just, that, it just seems like something because both of those guys happen to be famous. I don't feel like my information just isn't as good. Like, you know, people be like, uh, you watch this podcast and you watch that podcast. And you know what I tell them? I don't know. I, I, my podcast is the best podcast. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think there's no other podcast entertaining, more entertaining than, than mine. It's just that I don't, I see, I'm not going to wait until YouTube or network TV to tell me I'm the best. And then I believe it. I believe it now. I provide value. I provide consistency. I provide education. I provide entertainment. I provide perspective. And I give it to you all. There's nobody doing all of that. You know? Even like my intro sometimes, you know? I'll play an intro that'll pivot right into the topic. Visual, I give you a visual before we even start talking. 
See, they're not doing it like that. They're just coming on here arguing and talking and stuff. They have no point or direction in what they're saying. I have point and direct in every. I have point and direction in everything that I say. <clears throat> it may sound like I'm just saying this, this, and this, but trust me. Look, let me see. Right here, it says 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm talking at 10:02 in the morning, but my mind is already at 2:37. In the morning, I'm already 15 minutes ahead. You know, my thoughts are complacent. They, 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 they're off, and they continuously move. You know, so are we doing this kind of life? Really, it's really a mind. No, it's so huh? much. How do you understand your life? Like uh, so much knowledge. How did you gain that? About your life, uh, I've always just been a thinker, bro, and I've I'm a, always been a thinker and a reflective person. Like I think about everything, every situation that I'm in, I think about it. Every, 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 every downfall I have, I think about it. Every time that I'm in an uncomfortable situation, I think about it. See, some people don't think about what's actually going on. Some people don't think about what's going on. They just experience what's going on. They experience what happens to them. I try to create the experience. That's what I try to do. You know? Because when you create, you can control. When you create, you control. So that's the way it goes. You know? Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all so think. So I do a lot of reflecting. Most people only reflect just like praying. They only reflect when bad things happen because their whole goal is to try to fix it. But if you would have been reflecting before things were happening, you make you things that may have never been broke. You know, a car doesn't break down without symptoms. There's always signs. There's always things that are telling you pay attention to this. You just choose to ignore you know? So, always assess yourself constantly. <clears throat> if I have a good day, I think about how to have a better day. You know? Try not to... Try not to let things... Uh... Try not to let things that you can't control control you. Okay. Some things are just gonna happen. Okay. You know. Don't get invested in possibilities. People will get too invested in the possibilities of things. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, COVID. Oh, I don't want to go outside. I don't know. It, it keeps. It will keep you on defense mode. The whole, your whole, you don't want to run, you don't want to drive your whole life based on the break. Right? You don't want to keep driving and you're you hitting break all the time. You want to be able to drive so you can get where you need. Make sure y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Stay tuned for the next part.